Today is the day that we will finally augment our first proper weapon and start training um, invention the way it should be trained instead of doing the stupid way we've been doing to get to 35. But that's only what we're doing at the very start of this here episode. Today, obviously, as the title suggests, we are going to be doing the Family Crest quest, which I've already got all the items for. But yes, let's just take care of this real quick because I am eager to get started. This is, I actually think the ideal situation is to start training invention around attack 70 so that you can use a whip because it just seems like the way to go. All right, so we will do that. We now have an augmented abyssal whip, so we'll need to have the um, charges put in. We have a lot of charges, apparently. I don't know where those come from. I guess you just start with them. I also have this gizmo. This is not a great gizmo, but um, it just does this. It gives you a chance at getting a drop that is an invention component it's not terrible and i tried to get scavenging two or scavenging one and something else but i didn't get lucky and i don't have enough money to just keep spamming gizmos until i get something good so we're gonna go ahead and plop that on there so now our whip has scavenging it's good stuff we don't need the whip today but don't be surprised if this thing is trained up significantly I don't know how fast it's going to train up, really. I don't have much experience with training invention at these levels, aka no experience. But I'm going to be doing Slayer and maybe some other things. I've been thinking about farming clue scrolls to make money. And by thinking about, I mean I actually did a few clue scrolls today. A few mediums. Been having fun with that. Got, um... I actually started it because I found a bob shirt in the bank and sold it for 700k. And I was like, yeah, maybe this is worth it. I did get it like a a brown uh, head band or whatever sold for another 700k on the first medium clue I did it's not bad clues are pretty good money right now I'm happy with it but I might start trying to do those more get some money I went ahead and spent that money on a cannon because I've never actually used a cannon properly in this game so I was like eh, 700k is about what a cannon's worth so the next time I get money I'll use that to buy cannonballs I don't really want to be spending my current cash on that junk that's just kind of for fun all right, so as far as this quest is concerned, I think maybe we start in here. There's a quest symbol. Oh, this is the guy we talked to. I barely remember this quest. All right. Hello, my name is Dimentheus of the noble family Fitzharmon. Um, hi, I'm a bold adventurer. An adventurer, hmm? How lucky. I may have an adventure for you. I desperately need my family crest returning to me is of utmost importance um so where is this crest well my three sons took it uh with them many years ago when they rode out to fight in the war against the undead necromancer and his army in the battle to save varok for many years i had assumed them all dead as i had heard no word from them recently i heard that my son caleb is alive and well trying to earn his fortune as a great fish chef I believe he is staying with a friend who lives just outside the west gates of Varrock. Okay, I will help you. I thank you greatly, Drer. If you find Caleb or my other sons, please let them know their father still loves them. Alright, staying near here. I thought he was over in Catterby. Hmm. I will have to read a guide. Outside, like, who lives outside of the gates of Varrock? I don't even know. I'm gonna just read can be found by Gertrude's house, apparently. Caleb, what are you doing over there? Oh, well, let's go check it out. Why he never returned to his father after the big battle with the Necromancer. It's just plain rude, not telling your dad you're alive. The type of thing that might come up in conversation from time to time. Probably best to keep him informed. Alright, let's jump on it. Another thing I'd been trying to start doing is get in the habit of actually using Surge. I've never bothered to use this thing because it, it just doesn't feel like it's worth it to me. Like, woo, look at me, I saved, you know, a few seconds. One second, I don't know. I don't know. I've been doing a bit of the, um, the tombs, whatever they're called, under Minifus. Is he living in here? Yeah, he is living in here. I had completely forgotten. All right, Caleb. Who are you? What are you after? Are you Caleb Fitzharmon? Why, yes I am, but I don't believe I know you. How did you know my name? I've been sent by your father. He wishes the Fitzharmon crest to be restored. Ah, well, hmm, yes. I do have a piece of it anyway. Uh... So can I have your bit? 
Well, I am the oldest son, so by the rules of chivalry, I am most entitled to be the rightful bearer of the crest. It's not really much use without the other fragments, is it, though? Well, that is true. Perhaps it is time to put my pride aside. I'll tell you what, I'm struggling to complete this fish salad of mine, so if you will assist me in my search for the ingredients, then I will let you take my piece as a reward for your assistance. So what ingredients are you missing? All the fish that are in my inventory. Okay, I will get those. Well, it would help me a lot. How is the fish collecting going? Got them all with me. Yay! What happened to the rest of it? Well, my brothers and I had a slight disagreement about it. We all wanted to be heir to my father's lands, and we each ended up with a piece of the crest. None of us wanted to give up our rights to our brothers, so we didn't want to give up our pieces of the crest, but none of us wanting to face our father by returning to him with an incomplete crest. We each went our separate ways many years past, none of us seeing our father or willing to give up our fragments. So, do you know where I could find any of your brothers? Well, we haven't really kept in touch, what with the dispute over the crest and all. I did hear from my brother Avin a while ago, though. He said he was on some kind of search for treasure or gold, or something out near Alcarid somewhere. Avin always had expensive tastes, so you might try asking the gem trader for his whereabouts. Be warned, though, Avin is quite greedy, and you may find he is not prepared to hand over his crest piece to you as easily as I have. Alright. I think that he's just in the mine area. I could be wrong. I was wrong about this guy. So who knows? This is one of those quests that used to be a lot more important back when goldsmithing was a thing. But still, having the, the gloves at the end will be nice for burning food. Oh, levels. Did I not show my levels? I don't know. Um, we made some good progress. I forget what I had last episode, but i just like to point out how close we are to having everything 70 plus, except for invention, and how many skills have reached 80. And we have our first 81 now, even, as of earlier today. So that's good stuff. We're making good progress. I'm very happy. I'm not really sure what I want to work on. I mostly just want to do quests right now. I really want to get further in quests. So hopefully we'll get done with that. Is that him right there, maybe? That might be him. Yep, Avin. Don't need no gym trader. All right. What you got for me, man? I'm looking for a man named Avin Fitzharmon. Then you have found him. My name is Avin Fitzharmon. You have a part of your family crest. I'm on a quest to retrieve all of the fragmented pieces and restore the crest. Ha, ah, I suppose one of my worthless brothers has sent you on this quest then? No, it was your father who has asked me to do this for him. Why, my father wishes this? Then that is a different matter. I will let you have my crest chart, adventurer, but first you must do something for me. There's a certain lady I am trying to impress. As a man of noble birth, I cannot give her just any old trinket to show my devotion. What I intend to give her is a golden ring embedded with the finest precious redstone available, and a necklace to match this ring. The problem, however, for me, is that not just any old gold will be suitable. I seek only the purest, most high quality of gold. What I seek, if you will, is perfect gold. None of the gold around here is even remotely suitable in terms of quality. I've searched far and wide for the perfect gold I desire, but have had no success so in finding it. I'm afraid... If you can find me my perfect gold, make a ring and necklace from it, and add rubies to them, I will gladly hand over my fragment of the family crest to you. Jeez, can you give me any help on finding this perfect gold? I thought I had found a solid lead on its whereabouts when I heard of a dwarf who is an expert on gold who goes by the name of Boot. Unfortunately, he has apparently returned to his home somewhere in the mountains, and I have no idea how to find him. Well, I'll see what I can do. Assuming... He live either in one of the mountains or the other mountains, right? He lives in the Dwarven Mines below Ice Mountain. That one. So we'll go over to Falador. Bloodstone I can never find. Do that. I don't remember this part of the quest. I remember Perfect Gold. I think it might be... It might be over near uh, Ardoin. Maybe. Hmm. Who knows? Okay, let's go here. Uh, also, other progress lately, um, in Minifos, we have access to the extra bank chest and the ports now. I'm still working on getting the VIP area access. What am I doing going in here? This is not... What the heck? Ah, uh, don't you hate when you just go in the wrong building on complete accident? Or mampling. Not touching, really. 
All right, so climb down. Uh, it's, oh yeah, I forgot. I completely forgot to mention that uh, RuneScape Mobile is a thing that's coming out later this year for Old School and next year for RS3, which is an interesting development. I think they probably announced it a little too early. Uh, let me see where Boot is before I continue talking. Boot is a cavern to the southwest of the General Street. Okay, so he's probably like the southwest corner. But yeah, um. I think they announced it a little too early. They could have waited a few months, but oh well. My big question is whether or not this is going to include touchscreen friendly mode for Windows 10, because I think that would be really important. I remember Boot. Boot. I remember him. What you got, Boot? But what the heck are you wearing? Like, barely wearing anything. Jeez. Orvin, uh, chest hair. Hello, tall person. Hello, I'm in search of very high-quality gold. High-quality gold, eh? Hmm, well, the very best quality gold that I know of can be found in an underground ruin near Witchhaven. I don't believe it's exactly easy to get to, though. That was it? Did I even need to do this? I probably could have skipped it. Uh, it'd probably be faster if I use my gold teleport there. But yeah, that's my big question, is uh, touch screen for mobile. Hopefully it happens um, on Windows 10. That they don't just make it Android and iPhone only to have touch screen friendly. Because I have a Windows tablet and I would really love it if I could actually play RuneScape on there without it being a pain in the butt. It is so annoying trying to use an on screen keyboard to try to rotate things around and stuff. Ridiculous. Uh, what else? Today's update added uh, stackable urns, which makes urns a whole lot more useful in a lot of situations. Personally, I never found urns to be worth bothering with for anything other than um, prayer just because they function as a drop cleaner for prayer. Um, but uh, yeah, now, now I might actually use them. And they added four new ones for like rune crafting and hunter and divination and something else, I think. I mean, I mean there's four, so obviously something else. Um, this is where the gold is. I don't know if it'll just let me in here or what. Now the door is locked. Okay, what do I have to do? Do I have to kill one of these guys, maybe? Kill an ogre to get the key? I feel like I have to kill an ogre. Let's go ahead and rotate around to the proper one of these. I hope that the ogre has the key. Otherwise, I just murdered an ogre in cold blood for no reason. <laughs> Here's hoping. E, please. Um, I had, I found. Oh right, I have this on non-filter. Filter. He didn't drop any, except for big bones that I auto buried. All right. While I, while I look this up, we can kill another one. Okay. Oh, there's a puzzle. I guess. Huh, keep following the path. The north and south. We have to do a lever puzzle. Okay, so there's a... There's a lever outside of the room. Oh, whoa, wow, ogre ribs. I don't know if I need those or not. Can you get multiple drops? Who knows? Alright, so we want to pull this lever first, I guess. Lever is now up. Head to the southern lever located inside the room. This is not the room. Because the southern one is... Hmm. I'm confused. Door is locked. Pull the lever again, then. We're still locked. Okay. Something is wrong here. Small caged area. Oh, there's a room to the south as well? Okay, I got it. I thought this was something else entirely. I didn't realize this was another room. I just saw the wall. Okay, so head to the northern lever located outside the room. Oh, so I, I am supposed to pull that lever. I know what I'm doing, okay? Whatever. You don't understand me. <laughs> okay, pull this lever, and then we head south. I guess we can pull that lever then. And that'll probably let us in that door, and then we pull the door in there, and... Ah, it's so complicated. I don't remember doing this at all. It's crazy. Alright, we pull this lever. Ching. Alright, now I'm gonna head up there, assuming that I know what I'm doing. Oh. Let me out the other door. Alright. So now we have to return and pull the lever outside of the room down. Okay, didn't expect that one. Okay, and then we go inside and pull that lever. 
right? And then I'm guessing we have to go back to the south and pull that one again. If I had to guess. But I could be wrong. Let's find out. Enter, leave the room, and pull the one... Oh, pull the one outside, and then the one in the south. Okay. There we go. Oh, so was the goal to get these two up and the other one down? I see. Makes no sense whatsoever, because why would it? It's just a random puzzle. Alright, let me in. Nope. That door's still locked. Let me in this door. Not locked. And that should do it, maybe? Let's find out. I do remember killing these hellhounds in the past. It was a place that I would come and fight them. I never liked them, but when I had a slayer task back in the old days, this is where I would come. Alright, so we probably just need two, right? Probably. Let me mine, you jerk. Fine, I will kill you because you're really weak. Goodbye. Alright. Give me that perfect gold. Yeah, perfect gold. Quotes and everything. I'll take this one, I guess. Oh no! Faster, faster! Pull another hellhound. Stupid jerks. Won't leave me alone. Dead. Alright, be fast. This was harder back when they were stronger. Alright, so we have two gold ore, and then we smelt them into the bars. Alright, we can go over to Alcarid to do this. There's a smelty place there. And then we make them into a uh, ring. Perfect ring. Perfect necklace. I do think that this area looks really good. I don't know if we've seen this area on camera that much. Except maybe when we did the quest. I don't know. It looks so good. Maybe not so much with the weird lighting. But... Okay, great. Where are we going? We are going to uh, Smith. There should be a smithing area somewhere near this lodestone. Um, I don't actually know where, though. That one right there, I don't know these symbols anymore. That is definitely not even... Okay, I'm going to have to look at the mini-map. I don't know Alcarid like I used to. It's sad. I was in Sophenim for the first time today. I didn't realize how they changed it. I don't think I like it as much. All right, Alcarid. We want to go to this. Okay, he's right there, actually. I didn't even notice. Um... Uh... Yeah, okay. There it is next to that symbol. I didn't see it. Too crowded. Way too crowded. Ah. Here we go. Make some perfect gold bars. I do like how they make these things for these old quests and they're just stuck in the menus forever. Alright, can we just smelt it again? Or what? What do you... That's right. Perfect ring. Alright. And make a perfect necklace. No, make two perfect rings. Oh, you can wear it? Hey, look at that. I didn't think you'd be able to wear it. I guess you can probably make those after the quest, too. Hmm. I wonder if they're tradable. Be a good gift, right? Alright, well, anyway, let's get back up to... What was his name? Avin or something? Whatever his name was, it doesn't matter. What matters is that we give him this. Normally, I would get the goldsmith gauntlets from him at the end of the quest, but... No. No, I don't plan on doing that. Hey, that spirit implants are still around. I have the ring and necklace right here. These, these are exquisite, exactly what I was searching for all this time. Please take my crest fragment. Please take it. Now I suppose you will be wanting to find my brother Jonathan, who was in possession of the final piece of the family's crest. I didn't actually tell you I had the one from the other guy. That's correct. Well, the last I heard of my brother Jonathan, he was studying the magical arts and trying to hunt some demon or other out in the wilderness. Uh oh. Unsurprisingly, I do not believe he is doing a particularly good job of things and spends most of his time recovering from his injuries in some tavern or other near the eastern edge of the wilderness. You'll probably find him still there. Thanks, Avin. I swear, didn't one of these brothers used to live in Catherby? I have no idea. Anyway, let's head on up to Varrock. I could look it up, I guess, about Caleb, see if there's history. Yeah, he was previously in Catherby until 2012. Hmm. Caleb moved. Very interesting. I don't know why they did that. I mean, it does keep the quest more centered around here, except for the whole perfect gold thing. If they'd moved that, it would make a lot more sense. Maybe move perfect gold into the, uh, the desert. Who knows? I'm not a GIX employee. I can't make these decisions. Alright. 
So we're going to that, uh, is it the Blue Moon Inn? Or the, what, what is it? I can never remember which inn is which in this area. Or even the name of the second one. It's always the Blue Moon, right? Both of them just call them the Blue Moon. Bright Wisps. Such a long time ago. What tier is Bright Wisp again? Tier 3, level 20. Jeez. Now we're all the way up at level 80. It's amazing. Alright. Up here. Time consuming, running all over the place. I might have to start investing in teleports. I'm gonna have to start playing this game differently than how I normally would just for the sake of speeding things up in these episodes. It's gonna be crazy. I'm probably gonna become a better RuneScape player as a result of this series in the long run. We'll find out. Alright, so what is that doing? Did I accidentally click on something at some point? Clear my marker, please. Hate having flashing things. Okay, so we're looking for Jonathan. Oh, Jonathan. Jonathan, he's upstairs, maybe? I think he's here, isn't he? Is I completely wrong? Oh, there he is. Ooh, one more. There's Jonathan. For some reason, his name doesn't look right to me. Is it because Jonathan doesn't always have that H at the start? I don't know. This looks strange. But sometimes words just do that. Too much. Uh, greetings. Would you happen to be Jonathan Fitzharmon? That I am. I'm here to retrieve your fragment of the Fitzharmon family crest. The poison, it is all too much. My head will not stop spinning. Uh-oh. Dying. Let's give him three doses of anti-poison. Ooh, thank you. Wow, I'm feeling a lot better now. That potion really seems to have done the trick. How can I reward you? So he's just been, like, living his life up here poisoned for who knows how long. I've come here for the peace of the Fitzharmon family... Crest. Have? Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. In my attempts to slay the fiendish Chronozone, the Blood Demon, I'd lost a lot of equipment. In our last battle, when he bested me and forced me away from his den, he probably still has it now. But where can I find Chronozone? That fiend has made his lair in the Edgeville dungeon. When you come in down the ladder in Edgeville, follow the corridor north until you reach a room with skeletons. That passageway to the left will lead you to him. Um... Was he hard to defeat? Well, you will have to be a skilled mage to defeat him, and my powers are not good enough yet. You will need to hit him once with each of the four elemental spells of death before he will be defeated. Okay, I'll be on my way now. Alright, so... Is he in the wilderness? Ugh, I hope not. Gee, let me see what I say here. Um, Chromazon, Chromazon... Okay, keep going north, taking a left at the farthest corner. Hmm. This boss was always really annoying in the, um, what you call it tower in, um, the desert. The one where you rebattle the bosses. I can't think of it. It starts with a D, I think. I don't know. I had a lot of fun in there. I don't think it's probably as fun as it used to be with all the changes in EOC, but he was always a little annoying because. I would hurt him too fast and not be able to use the four types of magic in time. Oh, look at the little hell rats. They're so cute. Oh, is he up here? I didn't even... This was here. Was this here the whole time? Hmm. I don't remember this. <laughs> I don't know if it's always here. Okay. Well, anyway, we need to go ahead and select our spells. It's got to be the bolt spells. So we... Cast an air bolt against him. Okay, can you, like, cast an... Fine, we'll auto-cast air bolt. Can't tell for sure if it's working. Gotta make sure it hits. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't count. I'm double make sure and watch this. Until I do damage again. Okay, now we'll switch to water. In, uh... The Dominion Tower, that's it. Crap, he's gonna die too fast. It'll actually say when you use power. Come on now. Yes, yeah, so he regenerates, so we gotta make sure we do damage with this one again, just in case it works like that. Okay, switch. Just in case. Fast. Okay, yeah. Do it again. Damage. It's hard to switch these things around and watch. This should do it. I think that we've done this all correctly. I could be wrong. No? Apparently not. 
What am I doing wrong? Huh. Is it not working? What have I done wrong? I did all- oh, the earth- well, well, no, it should be fine. What is going on here? Okay, well, I've definitely hit him with air bolt. Try water bolt again. Oh, is it- it's the auto attacks that- ugh. Fine, let's switch to this. We gotta do it this way. Alright, we're, we're just gonna finish him off and then we'll switch back. I'm glad I brought so many runes. Okay, water first. Why not? He's gonna kill me at this rate. <laughs> Be a big deal if I died. I'd never get back here in time. Ever. Alright. I think this cave might not exist outside of this quest. I could be wrong. I don't remember seeing it. And I would probably remember seeing an opening, I think. Come on, die. Come on. You can do it. You can die. I know you're capable of it. Crap. Kill me. Just hit him already. If I die, this will be the saddest thing ever. Come on. Wow. Why can I not hit this? Hit him already. I didn't bring food because I thought this would be easy. Oh my gosh. Prayer. Um, give me the magic prayer and the defense prayer, please. Holy crap. I have to teleport. Well, pff, I didn't have time to teleport. Oh well, who cares? Do I wish to reclaim my items? No, not really. Which items are you keeping? Um, let me look at my items, okay? Yeah, nothing important's gonna happen from this death. Alright, we just gotta run back. And then actually kill him? Okay. Yep, exit. I can't believe that crap. This is where you see... Using abilities while a blast spell is on autocast also counts. What? It was not counting. We all saw it not counting. I am so confused. Like, what the heck? My gravestone timer has started to count down. Does anyone know what I did wrong there? Because I swear I hit him with all the types. And it says abilities count. So then why did it not work? Oh well, let's just run back up here. I just got 120 slayer. I wish I had that. Oh well, let's run up here now. Can't believe that crap. It better not make it hard to get my items back. Inspect, reclaim all items. Yes, I know. Alright. So once again, oh, he's still hurt even. That's interesting. All right, so once again, we are currently on Fire Bolt. It is Bolt, is it not? Oh, it's Blast. What the heck? Well, I'm stupid. I swear someone said Bolt somewhere. Maybe I'm just dumb. Oh, well, we'll kill him with this. I can't believe that all happened because I was using the wrong spells. I mean, it would help if he described them as like the actual blast spells instead of saying they're like the spells of death. I could have sworn it was. Oh well. Yeah, this this is making a lot more sense now. It would have been nice if it had like had a message for using the wrong one. I thought it was just being dumb. But I am the one who is dumb. All right, die. There we go. Okay, we did it. <laughs> that was the stupidest thing. I should wipe this whole episode from the records and just say like, oh yeah, we, we totally did Family Crest like five years ago. Just forgot it. Everyone forgot it. Can I combine these, maybe? Yeah, look at that Family Crest. Who knows what the heck they were doing with it on the battlefield, but whatever. Let's go ahead and get back to old Papa It's Harmon or whatever it was and not tell him about what just happened with Chronozone. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, I see. He says death because it used to use death runes. Ah, see. 
he'd actually just said the four spells of blasting or something, I would have not made such a dumb mistake. Because I'm trying not to read the quest guide too much while I do this. Uh, but I do swear the abilities didn't count before. Maybe they fixed it. Maybe I imagined it. I don't know. Maybe it's something else I'm thinking of where abilities don't count. Either way, that was dumb. And I am dumb. So, it all evens out. Alright, Diminithesius. I have retrieved your crest. Adventurer, I can only thank you for your kindness, although the words are insufficient to express the gratitude I feel. You are truly a hero in every sense, and perhaps your efforts can begin to patch the wounds that have torn this family apart. I know not how I can adequately reward you for your efforts, although I do have these mystical gauntlets of family heirloom that, through some power unknown to me, have always returned to the head of the family. Whatever lost, or if the owner has died, I will pledge these to you. If you should lose them, return to me. And they will be here. Uh, they can also be granted extra powers. Take them to one of my sons. They should be able to imbue them with a skill for you. I just think it's funny. It's like, they have this power where if the guy with them dies, they come back to me. I know this because everyone always dies with them. It's crazy. That's the way I understand it. All right, so there's one that makes magic slightly stronger, but it's probably not worth it. There's one that uh, gives double experience for gold bars, which is good, except that gold bar prices have changed in the past few years, and it's no longer as good as it used to be. I actually made a lot of money training smithing on gold bars. I don't know if it's like that right now, but I'm guessing not. It stopped around the time that I got my smithing up high on my main. I got lucky in that regard. Made some good cash. I also just bought gold ore at the right time and bought a whole bunch of it. So even after the price went up, I was still just using ore I bought previously. It's one of the few situations where I've actually had the market work in my favor. I guess the other situation was that bob shirt I had in my bank. Look at that. Oh, hey, look at that. Your asks. Sure. Why not? Okay, I don't care about your sign. We're trying to head on over here to finish up today's stuff by getting the family gauntlets improved, where they will reduce burning of food. Gonna be good stuff. Oh, well. Hey, Lub, I am back. Change gauntlets. I hear that you have brought the completed crest to my father. I must say, that was awfully impressive work. I believe your father mentioned you would be able to improve these gauntlets for me. Yes, that is correct. I can slightly alter these gauntlets to allow you some of my skill at preparing seafood by making them cooking gauntlets. When you wear them, you will burn lobsters, sharks, and the swordfish a lot less. It will be a permanent modification hour, so make sure this is what you want. Yes, unless you pay to have it. He puts some food stuff on them and bakes them. And now suddenly they're cooking gauntlets. So they switch. Cost 25k to switch them. Yeah, it's so permanent, isn't it? Well, anyway, yeah, that's Family Crest. We needed it for the old achievements in um, Sears Village, which is one of our um, high tier goals that we have going on right now. Um, we might be doing another related quest to this. Maybe even ugh, one small favor. I don't want to say it, but it is possible that it might be the next quest we do. Or I might just jump ship and go do something over in, uh, I don't know, do like the Port Phasmatus quest or something random. Who knows? I never do. See you later.